evening, Modesto. I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, Aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will, aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah, we saw it land in those woods. It's got to be from outer space. But I'm ready for them. See? Tinfoil hat. <laughs> That'll stop them. <sighs> the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Huh? Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of boots. I love my job. Ooh-rah. All right, people, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters, let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into a genius, mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, PhD. Other unsung heroes of science also paid the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert company was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Australazine bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered and accidentally thawed half ape, half fish missing link, he immediately made for the beach. He made a giant pest of himself set back male-female relations some 10 million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Dine Norman, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. You get it? Pretty good, don't you think? Ginormic. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your posts. Now, Detrop, show me my monster. Activate the cameras in monster containment.
Hey, Ginormica, if you're not going to eat your oatmeal, can I have it, huh? Bob, please, let the poor girl eat. What? If she wants it later, I can always throw it up again. What has she got to lose? That's not the point. Ginormica here is obviously still trying to adjust to her newfound monsterhood. We should be sensitive. What are you saying, Doc? That we're not sensitive? Uh. Wow, got a little gill in on that one. Besides, think there's anything sensitive about her? Check out those hands, are you kidding? They're like man hands, times a million. Ugh. Okay, that's it. First of all, my name is not Ginormica. It's Susan. And second of all, I do not have man hands. And third, I am not, not a monster. I'm a girl, petite and sweet. Got it? Don't look now, but Miss Petite and Sweet just put her spoon through 18 inches of super steel. Oh, look, Susan, leave the spoon. We'll just get Monga to give you another one. I don't want another spoon. I want that. Susan, dear, please be reasonable. Where would we go? Hey, how about Monster Beach? Bob, please, there's no such place. Look, I've got to do this. Otherwise, I'll just wind up staying here and settling. And for what? Wait! We'll need my latest invention! <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! They're just homemade communicators I happen to whip up, you know, just in case. General Monger, it's a stage four breach. What are we going to do? Hold your fudge to trop. I didn't get these birds by turning tail every time some monster showed me his ugly maw. Release the Avenger. All ground teams, I want those monsters fast. Report in. What the? Oh no! What do I do? How should I know? I'm a scientist, not a roller derby enthusiast. That lot of help you are. Ginormica is entering Sector 7. Seal off all exits. Susan, the doors are closing. We have to get you out of there. No! There's the way out! Relax, Susan. You should be miles away from trouble now. Uh-oh. Miles away, huh, Doug? Well, I could be a little off. Come on, Susan, you're both on wheels. Surely you can outskate this thing. Okay, then, let's see how you roller boogie. Sir, we have a visual on Giant Armica. Understood. Stay back. <gasps> this is a good test for the event. Subdue target Giant Armica. My, that looks dangerous. Scanning the monster. Keep an eye out for monster DNA. You can use it to buy bonusy things in the DNA lab. Pick up multipliers to increase the number of monster DNA you collect. You can multiply the amount you get up to five times, but you will lose one level every time you get hit. Looks like you're all clear! I should mention that you can jump or double jump over obstacles by using the jump button. You can duck by pressing the crouch button. The laser, Susan! Get on the middle rail, Susan! Ah. Lean your hips, Susan! Use the deck! 
smash button to break through! We can't all be super geniuses, can we? Welcome to the DNA Lab! Here, my brilliant invention allows you to trade all the monster DNA you can collect for all sorts of important goodies! Very good! Now you have more choices! Some pencil shavings and leads. Ooh, now I'd quite like to hear what Susan has to say. She's a sensible girl. Enormous, but sensible. 